Hello YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make grass like this in 3DX Max without plugins. So I just figured out that a lot of, that a lot of plugins actually make uh, quality grass as well. But um, how about if you have no plugin and you need to make a grass? So I'm going to be showing you a quick way to do it. So let me just close this and let's start again as well. So now let's get started. So I'll just create, I'll select both. Um, I did, my previous tutorial was about creating rocks. So you can just go ahead and create, um, um, watch the video and learn how to create rocks in 3ds Max in, in very few, in, in no time. Okay, so I'll select these two rocks and come to my modify list and select AM4. So once I select AM4, you can see it just creates the hair for me. But I want to use a preset so I'm gonna select just one of it then I'll come I'll scroll down to load preset so you can actually style your own type of grass but there is a preset for grass so why don't we just go ahead and use that so I'll click on this and um yeah it is so we have a tall straw we have semi clumpy brown we have different type of air styles but these two are basically for grass or well, plants so I'm going to select this tall grass then automatically it just changes the color for me but I'm going to show you something real quick so now the um one thing about AM4 is one thing about AM4 is you have to consider the tip and the roots of the hair so I'm going to scroll down here to my settings and I would reduce my root tick the thickness of the roots to let's say um, since this is grass because this preset is for tall grass so and tall grass you know the um the the root is really very thick so I'll, i'm gonna scroll down here like i said and i'll reduce this to about um let's say three or four let me use five so just to adjust so now i've adjusted you can see the the, the root is less thicker then um after that I'll, i think I, I think i'm fine this is just a very quick tutorial on how to use so you can always experiment with all these um, clumping and so other other parameter on um, parameters later on so but one thing I noticed is whenever I render with the default settings like this it, it usually comes out white in the material um, in the material this is the material so they have the green color so what I usually do is I press it and go to my effects press it your environment and effect just go to effect select air and four and switch it to geometry make sure it's on geometry so the reason why if it's on geometry is whenever you apply a material to the that is um the um the geometry that is like your mesh that is creating the air and four you know you need to have a surface too so when you, any material you apply to the surface affects the air and four because it's on geometry but if it's on buffer it will use this um, settings that we have here to give you a material so let's just stick to this geometry and um, ML primitive is mentary primitive that's for mentary renders but I don't use mentary I use Hanol so I'll stick to geometry because I want full control of my material so I created a material here it's just a green texture that I applied to um, the two rocks that I use as surface to generate the the grass so now if I render so I'm gonna pause the video while I render so I just click render right here so uh, for my lighting I just set up um, this HDRI and uh, one and odd night so it's a very basic light light setup so you can always or you could use just use a, a skylight to give you to eliminate the scene so now I'm gonna render sort of so look see what it looks like so I'll pause the video while I'm rendering Okay, so now I've, um, our shot has finished rendering and you can see the grass. So that's how I usually do a very quick grass in 3DX Max. Instead of waiting or, or waiting for long, um, using... So that's how I usually do a sh um. So that's how I usually do my grass. So that's how I usually create my grass in 3DX Max. I use the AM4 modifier without using an XNL plugin and it's... Um, quite convenient and easy to set up just use the presets like I showed you and um, and that's it so let me let me
clone this render. Let me clone this shot and just quickly do another render before we go. So I'll select this. I'll just pan. Move it to this side like this. So this um this um character is actually from my um my upcoming game uh, Monster Hunter Stickman. So I'm gonna render now. So I'll pause the video while I render. Okay, let's go. So um it has finished rendering and you can as you can see this is um what the grass looks like. And the cool thing about 3D Max AM4 is that you can actually make um, it respond to wind. Like you can add the wind, you can add wind to it. But I think I'll just cover that in another tutorial. So you can actually add wind to it. So you can actually go ahead and add wind to it. So you just come to the dynamic section. Right here, you can just make it so any animation. Let's say your character was walking now. Any animation, like I covered that in one of my tutorials. So any animation that occurs, like with this character, so it just happens. So you can set it to live. So if it's on live, the grass actually moves. As you can see, the grass can actually move. So if your character is moving within the grass, it just it it happens. Or you can recompute it. Type on pre compute, then you start files and all those. Um, so you can set the um, simulation time just like how you do your plot simulation. So, but I think I'll cover that in another tutorial how to make AM4 respond um, to objects in the scene. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. So, bye. Okay, so yeah, so if you want to add um, like wind or an external force, so you can just right here after you create your wind, you select your wind and add it here. So if you're new to my channel and um, you want to see more tutorials like this, all you need to do is subscribe so you can always get notifications when I post new videos like this. And if you feel you have a particular topic you want me to tackle, just um, put it in the comment section and I'll respond to you right away thank you very much for watching don't forget to share with your friends and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye